Yo YouTube, what's up? It's I and let me teach you today how we are going to do some sick ass color corrections. Before we get into this topic though, um, let me tell you what a color correction actually is. I think it's basically just messing up colors to make stuff look better and not natural. Yeah, I think it's something like that. So they use it in movies, in music videos. And since the invention of 14 year old kids doing quick scopes, they also use it a whole lot in Modern Warfare 3 videos on YouTube. So if you want to know how to get your color correction to look a bit like those professionals do, um, I'm going to teach you right now. So you'll need a few things, an editing program like Final Cut Pro, Adobe After Effects are the best I think and you'll need magic bullet looks for sure if you want to make your work look a bit more astonishing but you don't really need that when you are really good with the color correction stuff and let's get to it because we don't want to make this a long video so this is my original footage and it's basically really gray and boring just like Modern Warfare 3 looks when you don't color correct anything so the first thing we're going to do is to add a color correction, color corrector, basic stuff. You have this in every editing program, I think. A uh, good thing is to turn up the whites a bit and to use, that might be too much, some more saturation to get some beautiful colors in there. And you can put up the mids as well, not too much, a bit you can put them down a bit doesn't really matter just play around with that stuff the important thing is though to really use your eyes and just use your senses I mean if you think it's looking cool it's looking great it possibly will look okay so that's the most important thing now when you have magic bullet looks you have to download it from uh, the internet and I have a video on that I'll link to you I'll put the link in the description so that you can see how to get that stuff. You don't really have to buy it. It's just downloadable like everything is on the internet. So this is Magic Bullet Looks. On the right you have this stuff you can edit it all manually. I don't really know how to do that so I'm just going to go with some presets. <laughs> um, there are a lot of cool packages you can download on YouTube, on Google. But you have a whole lot of cool presets here as well so just look around and if you see something neat like this one for example looks really cool um, you can use it on your video and it will basically look really epic now this looks a bit dark so we're going to do some more color correcting turning the mids up a bit and blacks now don't adjust the blacks, the blacks will make, if you adjust them, your video will basically look too dark or just too damn bright. So you don't want to do that stuff. Um, this might be a bit too bright. Let me see, just keep the mids in the middle and it will basically look okay like this. Pretty sick color correction already, so it's actually really simple to do that stuff. If you want to do some more, you should definitely download No Light Factory. I have a video for that as well, so I'll put put it on the description. And it basically adds some kind of light flare to the video. I choose the location here, for example. Adjust the scale, maybe a bit, not too much though. And it basically looks really epic, as you can see. You have a whole list of these things where you can choose some. I uh, basically like the sunset one a lot. And wow, that just looks great. So when you compare this with original footage, I mean, no chance that that other stuff looks better. Look at the difference between this color corrected stuff and this normal boring gray Call of Duty footage so that's basically it uh, another trick for if you're on Final Cut Pro I'll show it to you really quick 
you're going to hold alt on original footage duplicate it drag this back and select composite mode go to overlay and I'll delete the all these things right here and it will basically look even more epic you have more colors um, more saturation so that's a thing that only works on Final Cut Pro however so that's too bad for all your users of different programs but this will make it look even more great uh, anyway I hope you like this quick tutorial if it helped you out um, be sure to subscribe I got a lot of videos coming up still got a lot of commentaries a lot of epic things Michael streaming and such so um, this is the place to be if you want some fun uh, educative videos and thanks for the support don't leave um, don't forget to leave a comment or something a like it really helps me out and I'll see you later peace